Um, so this is the pieces that will come with the inside cartridge. The main thing you need to know about this is when you put this on, there's a little black button here. You do not want to hit that because this little black uh, mixing piece will come off in the cement then and then you have to start all over. Um, so you start with your cement and I just wanted to show you that it comes in here and this is not sterile. So you open this and then you'll pull out this inside packet, which is not sterile. Um, but you will open this to the sterile field. So then you would open this and just flip it on your field. Um, there also is stickers in cement for anybody who doesn't know because it is an implant. So it has to go um, on the patient's charges and um, record. Okay, so this is the gun. The first thing you would want to do is pull this back. A lot of times it comes, you know, somewhere in here. There's a little switch back here. You just pull this back. You will put your liquid in first. She's going to open this, so is anyone pregnant? Like, you need to <laughs> All right, so for um, putting in the liquid, you would wait to put this little spout thing on because then if this gets wet, the powder will stick to this. So just pour your liquid in before you put the little top on. There is plastic on here, so you should not cut yourself while breaking off the vial. Um, when you are adding the powder, the nurse should be starting the timer. Um, because the cement hardens somewhere between 12 and 15 minutes usually, and the doctor will want to know where you're at during that time. So put this on, dump the powder in. Mat. This one. You'll hand this off to your circulator. The fat end goes to them. They put it on a pump. This goes in the little hole on the side. And you start mixing. You should only have to mix usually 30 to 40 seconds. And you're pushing down and well pushing down in. and turning. As well as do not hit the black button. <laughs> Okay, then when you're done with that, you do hit the back button and pull this out. This comes off, this comes off. You put your nozzle on. Um, and I always ask the doctor if they want this broke off. For knees, usually they do break it off. You just break it like that. It's got, it's, it's uh, perforated. perforated, yep. And you stick it in here. Now, for Antonacci, when you are mixing, when he's, okay, so when you're mixing, he wants you to be pumping and it will automatically pull, the negative pressure will automatically pull this up. Um, then you would want to push these and this will go up. There's two little buttons down here. You push those and it'll go up. That's just for Antonacci. The rest of the guys, you just do it regularly. So you would put this in here and pump until the cement comes out. So it's pretty simple, but I know a lot of um, people who aren't in ortho a lot um, haven't seen the gun because a lot of times we just use the bowl. You're gonna drip now. You're gonna drip. And um, <laughs> with people doing stuff later in the day, in case you're not ortho, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew how to use the gun. Any questions? Good job, thanks Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. I just have one thing for